Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get this beautiful glittery look right here. This dress right here was kindly provided by Om Sara. They have amazing pieces, literally giving me princess vibes. And even for like a prom or any Indian wedding guest kind of event, this is perfect. So I'll leave a link in the info box. I do have a coupon code for some money off. So yeah, check them out guys. Right, we're going to start with brows i'm using the hourglass micro brow pencil oh my goodness i love this brow pencil so much it's in the shade natural black and it's literally 1.4 millimeters i think like which is so thin and tiny and you can really imitate brow hairs with this i'm also going in with their clear brow gel and just running this through my brows this really gives them like a bushy brow look it's not my favorite brow gel out there but i've been using it a lot lately but yeah i think the benefit one is my all-time favorite i'm putting a bit of spf which is the shiseido spf 50 stick again this is not one of my favorites because it doesn't hydrate my skin as much this is definitely for someone with oily skin but it smells nice it feels nice but would i purchase it again no but i'm just trying to use it you know for moisturizer i'm going to use the fresh lotus youth preserve moisturizer it's very hydrating and it just feels really nice on the skin Next we're going to use the Oma Beauty Foundation, I'll write the shade in the info box but I'm just going to buff this all over my face and don't forget your neck, this does go a little bit darker and does oxidise, I do have a full, full review if you guys want to check that out, but do you know what, it does give a really nice finish. I'm now going to use the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer, I think this is a neutral tan and I'm just going to put this under my eyes and my lids, bridge of my nose, did I put it on my bridge? No actually I didn't, ignore that. And I'm using my Eco Tool sponge which is actually a really nice soft affordable sponge, I definitely recommend it. I'm just using that to blend everything out. If you do see me make weird faces or actually kind of talk slightly, I'm, I was just listening to music, you know, in my zone. I think I just wanted to like do my makeup and just listen to music, so this is why I'm doing a voiceover for this video. And I don't know, every now and then I do like doing it like this. Now we're going to use the Fenty Beauty um, stick. I think this, oh, completely forgot this shade, but again, everything will be written down in the info box just to add like a bit of highlight to my skin, a bit of brightness in the center, and I'm just buffing this out with my sponge again. To then set that all in place I'm using my Kat Von D loose setting powder and I'm just going to use my damp sponge again to just do a little bit of baking under the eyes. I forgot how much I love this powder, it's actually really really nice. So then I'm going to move on to brows and so if we do have a bit of fallout it will just fall onto the powder, it won't actually fall onto our wet you know, base. And for palette today I'm going to use the Huda Beauty New Nude palette, I think that's what it's called. And we're going to use this shade right here, which I put a little fiery uh, thing on it. Uh, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to use that shade to buff into the crease, literally like all over the crease. Then we're going to use a slightly darker shade to deepen that crease color. And also deepen the outer corner a bit as well. And I need to get more brushes with these white bristles. They blend eyeshadows so, so good. Now I'm using a bit of the NYX Glitter Glue, which I haven't, what am I doing? Oh, there it is, there it is. I'm going to put a bit of that and then we're going to move on to this glittery shade from the palette and I'm going to use, this is actually a Huda Beauty brush that I'm using to pack this on and it packs the glitter on so nicely. I feel like this combination, the glitter glue and the glitter in the palette, goes so well together. It was so sparkly and so beautiful. I literally do you know this whole look just made me feel like a princess i'm not gonna lie but yeah as you can see i'm just packing that glitter onto that glitter glue base and it just stuck on and it no fallout whatsoever best combination honestly it's just so pretty 
I'm now going to curl my lashes. This lash curler is from Hourglass. So good. I can't live without an lash curler. So I definitely recommend to everyone. Just go buy one. It's amazing. Now I'm going to use some Revolution mascara. One of my favorite mascaras at the moment. And we're just going to put this on quickly. And I don't know what else to say about this step. <laughs> I'm also going to brush a bit off the powder off. Did I just did I mention that I'm really bad at voiceovers? I don't know. Some of you guys like it. I just feel like I mess up all the time. Now we're going to go on to bronzer. I'm using the Fenty Beauty bronzer in Caramel Cutie. I've been using this every single day. It's beautiful. I'm so glad that I got Caramel Cutie. This was gifted actually, but I did go buy Island Ting, but that's more my winter bronzer shade. This shade is so so beautiful and they blend amazingly. We're going to pop some lashes on now. This is the new Huda Beauty times Lottie lashes. Oh my god, these lashes are so, 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 so beautiful. Oh my god. Do you know those days where you just want big lashes but everything is natural? These are like the lashes you need. They stuck on so well. And I use the Huda Beauty Black Lash Glue, which is again my most favorite lash glue out there. Now we're going to pop some e.l.f. Jelly Pop Blush. I'm not sure about the shade but again I'm right in the info box but look how jelly like it is it was so cool I really wanted to show you guys that um, and then I'm just you know dabbing this on with my beauty blender and it's not as bright but it definitely gives a glow and a little bit of a tint to the, the cheeks which I actually really liked I didn't feel like I needed highlights on top of this it's really really pretty and then we're going to go back into the eyeshadow palette and use the same shade we used earlier on and we're going to buff this in onto our lower lash line i don't know what there was on my lid there but <laughs> yeah i'm just gonna buff away buff 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 blend 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 i'm gonna use a slightly darker shade on with a smaller brush and we're gonna go really close to the lash line just to like give a bit more dimension and make it look a bit deeper and sultry and i popped a bit more mascara on my lower lashes and yeah those are the eyes done now onto lips, I'm using my Primark Toffee Liner. A lot of you said that they stopped selling this, but then you came back and said that they you found it. So they do still sell, th sell this in Primark. I've got like so many. So yeah, it's a really, really nice, affordable lip liner. I'm just using that to line my lips and slightly fill them in. And then for lips, I'm using this matte lipstick. It's a liquid one. I'm not, again, I don't know about the shade, but I'm really glad I went with this one. I was gonna go with a slightly darker mauvey shade, but this just kind of matches the dress. And I don't know, it just goes with the look. I'm so happy I went with this one. So yeah, and these matte lipsticks are so, so beautiful. They're slightly sticky, but oh my God, they make your lips look so plump and big and smooth. And they're just really good. And don't forget to line the lower bit. You might not see this lower bit, but trust me, sometimes when you, you know, pull your lips together and stuff, like you see that it's very not even. So make sure to line underneath there. I'm using this Revolution Sculpt and Highlight Palette and I'm using a highlighter to highlight my inner corners. And yeah, that's the look finish. I tied my hair up. I'm so lazy when it comes to hair, but this is the finished look. I just love it it's so beautiful and so simple the earrings are from omsara as well again check them out in the info box i've got a coupon code for you guys oh any special occasion you need to check out their dresses they're beautiful so yeah love you guys and i'll see you in my next one